Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome to another video of gaming news. Twitch is soon going to start to sell games. Um, so if you don't know, Amazon has bought Twitch in late 2014. And since that purchase, they've actually not made that many significant changes to the platform. They haven't really changed what makes Twitch what it is today. Now, they have announced on Twitter about the Twitch games commerce. We all know that places like Twitch and YouTube have been used as advertising platforms for developers. Viewers watch the content as a demo. I have personally discovered and bought so many great games from watching other people playing them um, and learned so much more about them that I know it's, it can be a very powerful platform. Well, Twitch is now going to give people the opportunity to sell games on the streams. The way it works is um, just below the stream, there's going to be like a button where you will have the option to purchase the game that you're watching. So. This option is going to be firstly and primarily available for partnered streamers who opt in for this. And if they do opt in and they do make a sale, then they can receive 5% of the revenue share from the sales. Viewers who buy these games through um, Twitch receive not only the game, but a Twitch digital crate that contains randomly generated rewards like emotes and badges and more stuff like that. So. The streamer gets a cut of the sale, the developers get to make the sale, and we get a game and a reward for it, basically. This is what they're calling a win-win situation. Now, I figured it was only a matter of time before something like this was going to feature, since Amazon has bought Twitch. However, having a look at this article on Twitch's blog, uh, he, which I'll leave a link in the, in the description so you guys can read this for yourselves, Here's the breakdown of the revenue. The game creator gets 70% of the income. 5% of that is going to go to the streamer, and we can all assume that the remaining 25% is obviously going to go to Twitch. Now, this all sounds great, but at the end of the day, the developer is losing 30%, uh, which is actually more or less what Steam and other retail websites take out from the final sale. Again, this is a bit um, kind of like in a gray area at the moment because of NDAs and whatnot. Some people say it's up to 30%, other people say it's less than that. It depends on the developers and the, obviously the retailer. It's not just Steam, it's uh, good old games and a lot of other retailers out there. So, this could be the case for two things that I can think of almost straight out of the box. Um, developers can either sell the games at a higher rate or a lower rate. So what I mean by this is, if you're losing 30% of your sale, of your final sale, of your final game, it could be the case that you will increase that game by, you know, a little bit more. So instead of selling a game for $60, maybe you'll sell it for $65 on Twitch Prime, and um, to make up for the loss of those 30%. Now, is this going to happen? No, I don't think so, because again, Steam and other platforms do take just as much so i don't think most developers will actually care that much um, but this could also mean that the games will be sold at a lower rate meaning that for certain streamers the game is sold at a discounted rate to encourage viewers to purchase that now i know a twitch crate with uh, emotes and badges and stuff sounds really great for some people especially you know if you're a, a really big twitch fan i suppose um for other people, a true incentive would be a serious discount on the game. Is this going to be the case? Well, I don't know. Probably. Probably not. Because then it would mean that you're favoring some streamers to others. Whereas what I believe might happen is the game is going to be $60 for everyone. And um, if you get to buy it, you get to support that streamer. And that's pretty much the end of it. Where I suppose this is the case of... Um, We'll see what happens, kind of. We've got to wait and see until this gets developed. But, um, again, yeah, you, you just... It, it's an, uh, it opens up another revenue uh, portal for most streamers. Because um, right now, really, what what's happening... It's not that streamers are not doing this already. Um, like, they make individual deals with some of, some of these companies, some of these developers, to sell their games and then obviously get a cut from it. But of course, that causes kind of like shady practices where the streamers um, 
don't mention any anything negative about these games and whatnot, and it's just not that great. So Twitch is now becoming the middleman uh, in other words where they are um, facilitating this, the, not only just the sales platform, but actually the revenue income for the for the streamers. Now, for me personally, as a content creator itself, it does make it really appealing to have the opportunity to get some revenue back from the game sales rather than just ads. Um, primarily, again, I don't take this serious at all, um, but some people it's, it's a job for them. For me, it isn't. But for some people, uh, all the revenue that they make is through ads, either ads or, um, you know, like donations or, or subscri paid subscriptions or whatever. That's that's their main revenue income. Making sale from the game, it's kind of like a side thing that, they, again, they have to work out these deals with the developers themselves. So having that extra of, that even 5%, you know, just 5%, just, just it's... It just it kind of breaks it down to, it could be the difference from letting go of YouTube and just going as a Twitch streamer only. Again, we'll see how we how this plays out. So, the way I'm seeing this as as a good thing right now, um, I I don't see that this bad as a bad thing at all. But um, I'll let you guys know as this develops and how soon it's going to be out. They haven't announced when exactly this is going to be used as a feature um, and how it, any more details other than that. But like I said, there's links in the description where you guys can read about this yourselves. I do want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if uh, this is something that interests you, if uh, it's, this is just some bullshit you don't particularly care about or what. And uh, I suppose thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. It speaks for itself.